welcome back. It's the oh. Perfect. Me personally, I'm a no I'm nobody. Me personally, I'm a no I'm nobody. NHB Swoop, cause he's a blood. I ain't gonna lie, Swoop has some dedications. I see you. You over there critiquing shit, little NHB Swoop. Alright, welcome back. It's the dog. If this is your first time at Swoop Reactions, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit follow. Now, let me go ahead and give y'all just a brief, uh, <laughs> some insight before we get into this video. Now, I would normally describe this video as a reaction, but it's not really a reaction. It's a um, correction, okay? This is a correction video. You know, um, this dude is used to correction videos. Now, you're probably like, what dude? No, <laughs> this is self-admitted nobody. Me personally, I'm a no I'm nobody. Treshawn Wiggins. Now, I forgot this dude even existed. I did a video exposing him. Um, about two months ago, apparently that set on his heart, you know, he just uh, been just holding this in for so long. You know, these videos they just came out with about me, I think it was about three, maybe four videos he put out about me, you know, a bunch of nothing. So we're going to go ahead and break down, break it down. You know, we're going to react to it. Now, before we do that, we're going to do a character evaluation. Do your homework on the difference between a character assassination and a character evaluation. So before we, you know, start slandering and making videos, you know, trying to assassinate your character, we're going to do our due diligence and evaluate your character and see if there is even a character to assassinate. Now, I didn't have to do any homework about you. I uh, criticized one of your videos. I did a reaction to one of your videos. I had got contacted by someone from the public who wishes to remain anonymous. This person knows you. Actually, they gave me information where they wanted me to expose you. Hence, where comes the Treshawn Wiggins expose video. Go watch that. Now that, you know, gives a clear details as far as how, you know, I became familiar with Treshawn Wiggins, you know. Uh, you know, aka Sean Wiggins, ain't that what you what the S stands for, Sean? You know, I think it stands for Stan. Do your do your homework on S Wiggins is Stan Wiggins, the stupid, thirsty, absolute nobody. But you know, uh, according to this person, S Wiggins stands for Sean Wiggins, which is short for Trey Sean Wiggins. So, Sean Trey Sean is is that is that? I think you prefer Sean. So Sean. Hmm, how would I know that you're Sean? And that's that's what the S Wigan stands for. Hmm, huh, I wonder. How, how, how would I know that? And I'm not from Compton. I'm not from L.A. I'm not from California. How would I know that? Because, you know, uh, somebody sent me intel about you to expose the liar, fraud, goofy that you are. So we're going to go over that and evaluate your character by someone who actually knows you. Not nobody we're asking about you or somebody come from an enemy hood that doesn't know you. No, no, no. We, we're we're going to keep it, uh, you know, we're going to keep it fair. You know, we know that, you know, you're never going to be able to, you know, win anything by doing anything fair. Right. You lack morality, character, uh, morals, you know, you don't have none of that. You have zero dignity. You have zero morality. So you'll do anything, you know, you're a sniveling little pathetic weasel, you know what I'm saying? You have a reputation. So let's talk to someone. Well, actually, let's let someone tell me and then I'll tell y'all what they told me to tell y'all about him. Because obviously these people don't have uh, social media like that. Uh, and, and they are. They don't want to be that. They don't want to be recognized by you because they, you know, they... They heard things about you or they know things about you that the public doesn't know about you. So let's 
let's hear about what type of person you are and why they might not want to be uh, in the public, you know, because I, I wouldn't give a fuck. If I knew you, I'm going to talk, you know, talk that shit about you. But, you know, you didn't deny it. So if you didn't deny it, you've accepted it for truth. So if you accepted it for truth and then you, you know, in your videos, you collaborate with these people say. And I was like, hmm, it, this has got to be true. Because at first I was like, man, you know, I can't confirm this because I don't know this person. <laughs> and then they want to stay anonymous. How am I supposed to use this? And it'd be effective, but they want to say anonymous. But I was like, hmm, I could do that by, you know, using your own words. We'll use that to validate and verify everything that this person is saying about you. Let's hear it firsthand by someone who knows you. Um, it's an anonymous YouTuber who sent me an email about you. So we're going to hear a character summary from someone who actually knows you. So this is like a first-hand account of someone who knows you personally, intimately, knows you, knows where you're at, knows your family, has pictures of you and your family, and they send those pictures to me to expose about you. So let, let, let's go over that. So we're gonna go over this Trayshawn Wiggins Dirty Secret video I did, right? Now on your screen is the email I received telling me to expose Trey Sean Wiggins, a.k.a. Sean Wiggins. Um, so we're going to go over that video and what the contents were in that email. You know, of someone who actually knows this groupie. Let's go ahead and get into it. So. Let's see here. We got this me from YouTube. His name is Trey Sean Wiggins. So his last name he's using his last name. And we could verify that with the Trey Sean's Wiggins Dirty Secrets video where he admits that that is his last name when he tells the story about how his neighbor uh, gave him that name by saying Wiggins while when he was wingling his dick at his daughter's, which was a very disgusting and despicable uh, fucking <laughs> story. And it makes you seem like a fucking creep and a little uh sexual deviant and a pervert. He used to call him on my last day. All right, Wiggins, Mr. Wiggles, you know, he used to say little funny stuff like that. He was cool. But one day, when they dad left, you feel me, I took it as a perfect opportunity to pull my dick out. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, go, go watch. I, I did a whole video on this, so I'm not even going to pull up that clip. But yeah, that's how he got his name Wiggins by pulling out his dick on his neighbors, on these children, like they were all children, but this is a little um, sexual perverted deviant who got kicked out by his neighbor's father for being a pervert. Just like I thought, Wiggins, right? They call him Sean, and I'm not gonna lie, he not a pussy. It's still debatable. He got a resume for shooting niggas. Who? Who? This is his pictures. And he shot a female in L.A. Oh, dirty, dirty bitch. Shooting females because he could not find the man he was beefing with. What? So he shot his girlfriend. And to me, I don't respect that. I don't respect that either. He says here, I don't respect that. He went to 135th Street Elementary School in Gardena on Vermont. He was wrong about his people. His uncle was an OG Compton Crip. He raised him. He called him dad because he don't got one. He got a mental problem. He, he got a mental problem. He was in a crazy house. He was in a crazy house. All right. So all you fans and stands and goofies, <laughs> tell me, uh, tell me this. Riddle me this, right? I think uh, y'all call uh, a dude like this a Jake hat, right? Somebody that is mentally ill, taking pills. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all call that? Uh, J Cat. That's at least that's what I've heard. You know, do I, you know? Let me know in the comment section if that what this person just described is J Cat. <laughs> they said that this dude got mental problems and he's on pills, and we already know, and we 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 verify both of those things. Secret number two. Ah, this so hard with man. Man, when I started this channel like a year ago, man, dude, I was super duper addicted to perks, man. Dope fame. 
No fame. I was super duper addicted to perks, man. He ain't no deuce. It's a motherfucking sherm head. Do your homework on super duper. You know, this ain't a regular junkie. This a what? Super duper junkie. He got a mental problem. He was in a crazy house. I, I could definitely, uh, yeah, that, that's not a reach at all. I believe that for show, for show. All right, so let's do our homework, right? Because obviously this person wants to stay anonymous. How are we going to, you know, take this as just what it is right now? We could put this in two different perspectives, right? Because we don't know this person. We just want the facts. So this dude said something different versus what this person said, right? Someone who intimately knows him. So she said, or he said, someone, she said, he said, <laughs> this uh, anonymous source has said that S. Wiggins was raised by his uncle and would call this nigga daddy because he didn't have a daddy. Do your homework on uh, this dude saying that he was in the DR. He was in the Dominican Republic, right? So I believe Stan Wiggins said that he didn't leave the DR or at least still in the DR because I don't know when he left, but he supposedly was still in the DR when he was about six or seven years old. So he's on there saying that he was still over in the DR at that age. And I don't know how old y'all think seven, eight years old. Look, try to pick up a seven, eight year old. Them big motherfuckers do your homework on seven, eight years old being big motherfuckers. Can you even raise a seven, eight year old over your head? Do your homework uh, unless you niggas working out. <laughs> <laughs> you better be working out if you think you just picking up some fucking seven, eight year old big and motherfucker. So do your homework on trying to raise a nigga who you literally can't raise. Like this nigga's already grown. What the fuck? Look here, I was game banging at five years old. I'm from South Central. So listen here. I was already a grown ass young manish ass nigga too, but I wasn't a pervert. Okay, don't nobody remember me as being a pervert from back in the day. <laughs> you know, I don't have no pervert stories to tell y'all about me. Because look here, I'm not a fucking pervert. <laughs> I didn't get my name from being a pervert. You know, I got my name from for swooping in the hood. <laughs> you know, swoop. do your homework on how I got my name in the hood. You know, do your homework. I ain't gonna, we ain't gonna overwhoop on my name <laughs> right now. We gonna, we gonna keep the, the focus and, you know, on the subject matter. So, you know, imagine trying to raise a nigga <laughs> That's already fucking grown. <laughs> Imagine uh, being your uncle, but you, letting this nigga call you your da his daddy because he ain't had no damn daddy. And you looking at me as your damn daddy. I'm not your damn daddy. I'm your uncle. Look here. I got nephews. I don't go around pretending to be their damn daddy. <laughs> they got a daddy. He's my fucking brother. He a good, he y'all daddy, he a good daddy. Shit, even if he is the horrible daddy, worst daddy in the world. All I could be is the best uncle, but I can't be your fucking daddy. You do your homework on you being grown with a fucking daddy, calling another nigga daddy, like Lil Wayne ass niggas. You a Lil Wayne ass nigga. <laughs> Let's start there on you being a Lil Wayne ass nigga who want to love a grown ass nigga who not your daddy. <laughs> you want to call that nigga daddy because you ain't got no damn daddy. <laughs> a grown ass nigga on top of that. That grown ass nigga looking for a daddy. That's brazy on bloods. So your, your, your uncle daddy, who <laughs> was a comp to crip, who didn't know you until you was about at least seven, eight years old, never met you. <laughs> and, you know, I think people think when you like are around somebody that's like raising you. No, 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 that's not raising you. This nigga is just around you and negatively influencing you to do some dumb shit. That's how you got involved with the crabs, right? Or at least becoming a wannabe crab. Because look here, I can't ever say that you were, I can't ever bang that you were a crab. How can we bang that you're a crab and don't nobody know what crab set you from? The, the first question is, Wiggins, where the fuck is you from? Like, somebody's going to ask him that. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Because he's talking all this shit. Here we go. Gang Gang 9966. S. Wiggins TV. What set you from, homie? S. Wiggins writes a response. Does S. Wiggins, you know, let it be known? That this is where he from and where he roam? Uh, nah. Mr. Diamond actually wrote and spoke for him. It says, I don't think he will give it up. He makes sure that stays anonymous. He makes sure that stays anonymous. He ain't making sure shit stay anonymous if he can't claim a Compton Crab. I, 
How the fuck is you claiming Count the Crab anonymous? What the fuck? That's not anonymous. That's specific. <laughs> if he was just claiming Crip across the board, he'd just be like, oh, I'm a Crip. I am Crip. <laughs> and I represent all of them. But then, if he represents all of them, you know, like how he's doing right now, because Count the Crip, that's like, you know, do your homework on how many fucking sets that is. That's a lot of sets. So that would make him a hood hopper. Do, do your homework on a fucking hood hopper. So he's already a hood hopper. A set hopper, specifically, because um, I heard that Com like Compton don't like tolerate that type of shit, like hood hopping from the crabs, because there's so much shit going on in Compton. So you can't just be hopping from this set to this set to this set. So listen. Then he, he writes some more. This dude, this dude he want to talk to you. He want to talk for you so bad. He said, S. Wiggins TV. Well, looks like I was wrong there. And I've been listening for months to see if it would come out in your videos. <laughs> I replied to this just to see if you would give it up. So, don't like I said, don't nobody know where this motherfucker from. Don't nobody know where he from. But people want to tell me where the fuck this nigga from. And I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear nothing about fake hood and... Neighborhood Compton Crab. Oh, we already know he's not from Neighborhood Compton Crab. Even though I seen him with an N8, well, I seen him with an NY hat on. So this dude, he be wearing NY gear. And and um, and he from California. What niggas wear NY gear in California? LA uh, Naps. The LA Naps wear NY gear in motherfucking uh, LA and in California. Do your homework on the Neighborhood Crips wearing that shit. Now... I heard specifically the neighborhood Compton Crabs don't wear in a don't wear NY shit. They want to be different. So instead of them wearing NY shit, they wear Mets, which is still NY, but it's like the orange and blue shit. So do your homework on the 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 neighborhood Compton Crabs wearing that uh, Mets gear and not the uh, the the LA shit. Cause them LA niggas and them and them Compton Crabs are two different sets, two different gangs. They don't ever follow the same protocol and or nothing like that. So the Compton Crips uh, fuck with the Hoovers. Some of them fuck with the Hoovers. Some of them been trying to kick it with the Hoovers for a long time. Like this op ass nigga. He love the Hoovers. He a Hoover lover. He did a fucking um he did a video with Boo Manson. Did Boo Manson get on here for free? Fuck no. <laughs> so somebody paid Boo Manson to be on his channel. Somebody paid Matt Ronald to be on this channel. Why the fuck would Matt Ronald or Boo Manson talk to this motherfucker? They got paid. Do 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 y'all do y'all homework on getting paid. So listen, listen. Let's keep on going. So S. Wiggins uh finally responded back and wrote L L L and he wrote back to Gang Gang saying for sure I interviewed your homie Tommy Guns. You seen it. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? And uh, uh, it wrote, you wrote, somebody wrote, I believe Front Hood in Compton. So a lot of people saying that you from Front Hood in Compton. I don't believe that. I There's nothing to support that. But, you know, when we're looking at this video of Treshawn and you see, you know, in the video, you know, the picture that was sent to me <laughs> where this dude has a New York hat on. So you got the NY hat on in Florida. You know, where he should be F to death out there. If he front hood, he's supposed to be wearing an F hat. Do your homework on wearing a damn F hat in Florida as a front street Compton crab, wannabe, ex member, dropout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga's supposed to be wearing an F hat, but he wearing an NY hat. So, you know, the front hood be getting confused with neighborhood. They, the one, one moment they front hood, Compton crabs. Now the neighborhood Compton crabs, you know, you know they just, you know that's just how it goes out there in Compton. You know, it's just you know they cosplay as other hoods, you know, from time to time. You know, do their homework of, of hood hopping and cosplaying and shit like that. See, we ain't got we don't we don't really do the hat banging up here, blood. Like you know, there ain't a whole bunch of crab sets, there ain't a whole bunch of blood sets like that. You know, there's little clicks in here, but everybody like you, you know, as long as you're in these boundaries. Nigga, everybody over here bloods. <laughs> not not just one, not just two blocks, three blocks, shit like that. Got a little po ass, little small ass, little section. You know, uh, one motherfucking project, two projects, three projects. All this little bullshit, right? Look, 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 look. 
Our set is big. It's not small. It's big. It's not small. Okay. It's it's not it's not that fucking small. It's actually pretty fucking big. If uh you know in 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 regards to like Minnesota standards. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know I know that everybody be over whooping in California, right? Everybody over whooping. So it ain't like that up here. It ain't like that up here. I ain't going for it, you know. Not everybody over whooping. But, you know, we be whooping. Do your homework or we be whooping. So if you ain't been banging from front of Compton, I ain't going to fucking accept you being from front of Compton. Why the fuck would I do that? Just because your fucking stand section says so? Fuck them and fuck you. And fuck front hood and fuck the rest of them Compton crabs. Fuck all them niggas. How about that? Yeah, since you represent all of them, fuck them all. Give a fuck. Fuck fucking Compton Crabs. You don't give a fuck about no Compton Crabs. Do your homework on Swoop. Not giving a fuck about some Compton Crabs. Southside 30s. You don't give a fuck. Oh, no, nigga. Sick so. Nigga, you still ain't post that apology. Nigga called my phone like, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Oh, but yeah, my bad. Nigga, matter of fact, nigga, Compton nigga stay out of L.A. business like I stay out of Compton business, nigga. On the dead homies, nigga. Soldier, where are you from? Nigga, you's a bitch, nigga. When we getting down, fuck all that, nigga. Hey, so do you know it's an automatic DP when a nigga bang on you and you don't bang back? I don't give a fuck if it's on camera in the county, in the courthouse, in the police station. You know that's a DP, right? You know that's a DP, right? So let's keep on going. He live in Opelika, Florida because he about to get deported. <laughs> I knew he was about to get deported. I knew his goofy ass, his foreign born ass was about to get deported. All right, so let me remind y'all one more time. So the video that y'all just heard is me reading an email from someone who actually knows Treshawn Wiggins and has given us details about him in full that are all checking out, okay? And let's go over, you know, the fact that he's being deported. So he admits this on several occasions. Now, I thought that this was particularly uh, telling in the comment section. So this comment coming from one of his subscribers or supporters, or whatever the fuck, it says, damn, Wiggins, why are they deporting you? And to where? We need to tap out there wherever you're going to be at, bro, because your channel is growing and keep applying pressure to these Internet streets. Now, do your homework on the Internet not being a damn streets, OK? The Internet is not the streets. The streets is not the Internet. See, and this is why y'all give validation to fucking fools who think they can make Internet shit into street shit. Do, do you catch my drift? So, all right. So these are not the streets. This is just the Internet. So get your you know, civilian I mean, get this through your head, you fucking civilians. This is not the streets. <laughs> this is not that. So, all right. So Wiggins responded saying, send in the Wigster. No one calls you the Wigster. Back to the Dominica where I was born, Cuzzy. Cuzzy? This nigga wrote Cuzzy. Now, I don't, that's, I don't know. That's some fruitcake shit. I don't know. Maybe he's like off the yapper right now. You know them, um... Them perks be making these dudes freaky and they, they start kissing their cousins and shit like that. You know, I don't, cuzzy, that, that's just, I don't know. I don't, like, I thought these niggas say cuz or, you know, yeah, they sending me somewhere crap. Something like, you know, <laughs> like imagine like a blood saying like, yeah, buzzy or some shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is a buzzy? Like, imagine me saying buzzy. <laughs> imagine this nigga getting fired off for calling somebody cuzzy. Like, imagine he tried that shit in Compton where all them Compton Crips are serious. <laughs> and he's talking about what up, cuzzy. <laughs> they just fire on his ass. Bow. <laughs> what the fuck, Compton Crip? Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you like, I can see from a million miles away this dude is not no fucking Compton Crip. Because he don't talk like a Compton Crip. He don't write like a Compton Crip. And when he get banged on, he over bang Compton Crip. This nigga, he get banged on and start uh, motherfucking apologizing, copping please. He going to get up on here and snitch to the homies. He going to go to your homies, tell them all the things you done did to him. He going to get up on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and tell civilians and police and whoever the fuck will listen what I done did or whoever done did anything to this fucking goofy snitch. 
Because that's that's snitching. Last time I checked, you know, why the fuck would I be talking to your homies about some shit you did? You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, 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 no. Your homies already know what's coming to them. They don't give a fuck what you did. <laughs> they don't care. But look here. Um, I care. And my homies care. And, you know, if we actually knew who you was, you know, we would get it bracket on them because they know that they got uh, issues coming because of you. Because of you. Let's go ahead and <laughs> get back into um, what I was saying about this junkie being a snitch. Now, we know that he's a snitch, just like T-Bone from the movie Colors. You remember T-Bone when he was in jail gossiping, you know, and then from his gossip, you know, he got the homies killed. All of them, pretty much. He pretty, <laughs> The junkie T-Bone, Damon Wayne's character, the funny guy, right? He's doing all this joking and, you know, he's doing all this, you know, fucking whatever the hell. He, he off the meth. He off the heroin. He off the PCP. He off all that shit. And so is this fool. So T-Bone snitching. Got the whole, his whole set whacked. His whole set gone. Like that. T-Bone is a junkie. Loco is a junkie. Y'all remember Loco from the movie South Central? Loco ass, Loco got in the car. He, matter of fact, he, him and the homie, so he picked up blood. They spun off of blood. Blood got his shorty with him. They pick up a hoe, a random hoe on the Kona. Or was it that random? Do your homework on that not being a random hoe and why this hoe just get in for show and they just let the bitch in, right? Like, do, do your homework on not just letting a bitch in just because. Fucking loco running his dumbass mouth. And when OG Bobby Johnson in the back said, pull off, you know, and y'all just let the bitch get in, you know, and he can't really do nothing about it because he got his baby in his hands. Do your homework or have your baby in your hands. And then you got these backdoor ass, op ass um, junkies like loco. Loco lets the bitch in the dough. He start confessing the crimes. Kill anybody? You know we down for that 187, baby. Man, shut up. Me with you. No, don't. Oh, man. How much you trying to go for the kitty cat, huh? Because <laughs> I got the rock. Because I got the rock. Say, mama, how much this party going to cost? Nothing, baby. It's on the state. LAPD. So do your homework on how Loco didn't end up going to prison with Bobby Johnson and was out on the street becoming a junkie. And then come into prison finally when his fucking life crashed into the dirt. You know, he's on his last leg. Hey, do your homework. <laughs> this dude solicited murder to an undercover cop. You know, <laughs> you know, also solicitating a prostitute. So soliciting a prostitute. Also, you know, serving or attempting to solicit drugs to an undercover. And key words when he said, we got the rock. He didn't say, I got the rock. He said, we got the rock, which is Mo, what, snitching. Loco was a huge snitch, and he told on everybody. <laughs> okay, do your homework on Loco, telling on everybody in less than, like, 20 seconds, okay? <laughs> Loco took down, I mean, if the deuces, you know, were not as, you know, put together as they was in this movie, you know, organized, having meetings, taking notes, you know, uh, fucking, uh, what's his face? Didn't seem like he was that, uh, slow. Like the dude from South Central, Ray Ray, Ray Ray had a building. <laughs> Ray Ray was getting money. Ray Ray was doing all kind of shit. And he wasn't a junkie like goofy ass loco, him or bear. So, you know, do your homework on, you know, junkies and what position you will be if you hang out with junkies. So don't hang out with junkies because they're going to lie. They're going to steal from you. They're going to snitch on you. <laughs> and there's just what they do. All right. So let's hear S. Wiggins on, you know, his page, you know, confessing and snitching about crimes. So let, let, let's hear the crimes, you know, because these are crimes he just committed, y'all. There's not no old crimes and I don't know if he got caught for this shit or not, but it doesn't matter because this is what he's sharing in the public, right? He's telling people he's guilty of doing these crimes. I was super duper addicted to pot. 
perks, man. I was okay. crazy on it, man. Junkie. Man, dude, every day I would wake up while I'm doing these videos. While I'm doing these videos. While I'm doing these videos. You know, I do the videos later on in the night. I went around jacking, robbing, everything moving, bro. I went around jacking, robbing, everything moving, bro. Yeah. So there you have it. This uh, self admitted junkie, you know, who's a liar, a thief, a bitch, and a snitch. Because he's on here confessing to criminal activity. Uh, he also told us how he's a backdoor. He backdoored his own homie, somebody who looked out for him. He robbed that dude. And then he also got up with one of his supporters from YouTube. He met somebody off of YouTube, somebody who was trying to support him. He robbed him, too. <laughs> now, if you actually go to them videos, this is stuff that he's admitting to. So if you support him, he going to backdoor you and rob you to get his fix because he's a junkie. So, all right, let's let's get back into the video because. Hang on, we gotta go over that comment a little bit more. We gotta, we gotta break down this goofinese. All right, so one more time. So the dude asked him, Wiggins, why? Keyword, why they deporting you into where? So he don't go into the why. He just goes into where. <laughs> he says they're sending the Wigster back. To Dominica, right? So he puts the back B A C C Y because he thinks he's a content crip and he's not. Uh that's cuzzy shit. And he wrote, I'ma try my very best to do it, homie. That's not your homie. That's just some fucking groupie. That's a groupie. Do 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 your homework on groupie versus a homie. All right. There, see, you got homies and then you got groupies like you. And this other motherfucker. Y'all both groupies. Y'all not homies. Do your homework on you being a groupie and not a homie. On bloods. You said, I hope it all works out. Much love. You uh, so, so you love this nigga? Y'all some fruitcakes. Anyways, yeah. I don't love you niggas. I don't love you groupies. Uh, we don't love them hoes. Do your homework on we don't love them hoes. We don't love you groupies. Um, you groupies are just fanned out stands who are groupies. And you uh, don't get no damn love, you scrub. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's up with these niggas in love. Uh, last time I, I, I last time I checked, ain't no damn Crip Love. <laughs> Where's the Crip Love song? Is there Crip Love? Crip Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never heard that song. <laughs> I know y'all want to be Pyrus real bad. Y'all going around talking about Crip Street because y'all want to be Pyrus Street. <laughs> You'll never have a Crip Street. <laughs> never, ever, ever. No one even respects Crippin'. <laughs> no one gives a fuck about Crippin'. No one wants the Crips to succeed at life or, in, you know, in future endeavors. <laughs> no one gives a fuck. Now, uh, <laughs> let's get back into this amazing um, email. He got nine kids and he misses his uncle when he died. But, and he missed his uncle when he died. <laughs> oh, right. Let's check him out. Uh, so he got, so he got addicted to pills. His sister' name is Kim. His baby mama left him cause he got a white girl pregnant. He sell crack in the hood. He in Florida cause he can't get a job. <laughs> he an immigrant and he on papers to live in the U.S. So there y'all have it. So we already know. And we already confirmed, and he already confirmed with us and with everyone that he's a pill head. All right. So he admitted to being a junkie and addicted to pills. So, you know, y'all are going to have that clip to hear and laugh at and, and play it over and over and over until it gets in your head that this dude's a pill head junkie. So he already admitted that his BM left him and took the kids. So look here, uh, this person in his email is batting 100 out of 100 right now. This is 10 out of 10 content. Uh, so far, everything is checking out and this is not, you know, by me or anybody else account. This is by your own account. Like you are validating and verifying all this in your videos. So do your homework on S. Wiggins um, and his email and it's all being facts. That's why S. Wiggins don't want to react to that video. <laughs> 
He he commented on every other video that I did about him, except for this one. Do your homework on him never going to respond to that video or what we're saying or what was said about him by someone who's intimately knows him. Like we, you know, we know you, Treshawn. No, no, no. I feel like I know you. Shit. <laughs> you don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> Guess how? <laughs> it's the dog. So he's a self-admitted pillhead junkie. He's a self-admitted nobody pillhead junkie. So <laughs> let's get that out the way. He's a nobody pillhead junkie. And um, Kim, his sister Kim, who do you think your sister Kim would approve of you? Uh, nobody pillhead junkie online running his mouth, you know, putting yourself in danger, putting your family in danger, putting Kim in danger. Kim, listen here. Uh, don't let this nigga around you, yo, uh, yo, 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 kids, you know, just let your family know that this is what this dude got going on. And he got all y'all fucked up, you know, perpetrating this goofy fake ass online. Do your homework on like. You know, putting your family in danger from what your dumb ass is doing online. <laughs> so, Kim, Kim, listen to reason. I'm, I'm looking out for your friends and I'm looking out for your family. Guess who's looking out for your baby mama right now, right? Baby mama, uh, keep this nigga away from them children. So while he's talking about I'm disrespecting you, I'm, I'm actually protecting you. So if he has he has like nine babies, right? Uh, this person says that you got nine babies. Do your homework on nine, nine babies. That's a lot. So anybody who has a child with this nigga, keep them babies far the fuck away. This dude don't need to be around no children. He don't need to be around no family members. He don't need to be around nobody. You know where this nigga need to be? In prison with all the real crips. <laughs> he need to be in prison with all them real crips or in the grave with all the real crips. <laughs> do, do your homework on Rip, you know, being rest and piss. So he wanted to be a real Rip really bad, right? <laughs> he wanted to be a perpetrator. He wanted to perpetrate that and fulfill that. So if he wants to complete his task, he has to take his ass to prison or uh, the grave. You know, the, the real Crips ain't on the street. Listen here, all the fake Crips are on the street. You know what they call them? Party Crips. So a party Crip ass like you, you know, <laughs> a studio gangster Crip like you, you know, you, you're safe in Opelika, Florida, you know, running your mouth. You know, you just make sure whoever you talk to, whenever you sneaking around in Compton, hiding out in other hoods, you know what I'm saying? You, you do that hood hop shit, right? And then you talk about other people hood hopping. And then you have to ask people what a hood hopper is because, you know, you're a foreigner. You're not a fucking factor, okay? So do your own work between a foreigner and a factor. So, um, <laughs> let's get back into, you know, uh, just... Because I, I already done forgot, what, you know, we done debunked so much shit and verified so much shit from this actual person that knows you, not no uh, stranger or commenter or, you know, some fucking op. You know, you listen to an op run his chops about me and blood didn't even know me, didn't know nobody who knew me. But you gonna listen to a nigga who don't know me, don't know nobody who know me about me. That's wild. So we're going to listen to somebody who knows you intimately and telling us intimate details about you. And everything is being confirmed by not me, um, by not them, but by you. All right, let's go. All right. So we're back at that um, email. So let me read to you all one more time what he says. So he got addicted to pills. His sister name is Kim. His baby mama left him because he got a white girl pregnant. He sell crack in the hood. So let's talk about selling crack in the hood. So if he sell crack in the hood, where do y'all think he get the crack from people? Where does he get the cocaine? Don't fucking cocaine don't grow in America. All right. So where would he get the coca leaves and you know the, the chemicals to create coke and crack? He don't got none of that. But where does he get it from? His confident homies, they, they don't fucking make crack. Where did he get the crack from? Um, the government. Okay, listen here. The, the CIA is the biggest crack dealer known to Americans, like all of us. Like, if, if you are dealing in cocaina, any type of pills that require, like, 
you know, like scientists and smart motherfuckers, not dumb motherfuckers like you. So listen, <laughs> you got to deal with some chemical concoction, <laughs> you know, that because look here, trees like the, the marijuana leaf, <laughs> that shit grows wild. You don't have to do too much. You just stick it in the ground and <laughs> let the fucking tree do its thing. OK, the tree will grow and do its thing. All you got to do is just, you know, get out the fucking way. So, you know, you put it in the ground, you get out the way. Now, your dumb ass is, uh, you know, a junkie to some substance that takes fucking uh, a, a, a scientist to create. <laughs> so, so, so your dumb ass is a guinea pig for a damn scientist, right? Some evil scientist concoction. Yo, you shoving that up your nose. <laughs> you, you, y'all fucking smoking it. <laughs> y'all shooting it in your veins. It's crazy to me what y'all do to get high. It's wild. The junkies, I can't, I can't relate. And y'all know the 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 perkies is a uh, opiate, right? He he says this. He says how it's comparable to um, heroin and some other shit. So listen, <laughs> do do y'all homework on this fetty pill hopping pill head idiot. Who's taking something that's comparable to heroin? So yeah, so this dude's far gone. He's burnt the fuck out. He's a known crackhead, and this ain't like he a crackhead from the eighties, the seventies, the nineties. <laughs> no, no, no. This nigga is a crackhead now, right now. He said that he's only a few months sober, and y'all taking the word of a goofy ass, lying ass crackhead. Oh, I'm sober. No, you're not. No. You got to be off the pills right now to make that dumbass video. You got to be off of yappers right now to be running your yapper. It's crazy. But we'll, we'll see how you we'll see if you get sobered up after this fucking video. I'm pretty sure this video will sober your ass right up because you're going to be feeling, you know, the, the pressure. I mean, I'm pretty sure your phone is literally ringing off the hook, you know, like, yo, <laughs> comp the crap <laughs> you, you know that's your ass <laughs> i'm pretty sure he got that call now no matter what call he gets it's not gonna matter because he's gonna have an excuse on why he can't show up why he can't be there to explain himself and you know he's gonna let a lot of time <laughs> look a lot of time's gonna go past when y'all um, ever see this guy in the states again <laughs> All right. So when he leaves, when he when he goes and goes to serve his time in Dominican Republic, because he still hasn't told us why he's getting deported. Y'all know why he's getting deported, because he, you know, shot a person. He's probably going down for attempted murder, like shooting somebody. Last time I checked was attempted murder. Uh, how many years is that? <laughs> I don't know. But listen here, attempted murder. Um, you know, on a civilian, he's a fake alleged gang member. So, you know, he's going to get gang enhancements. He gets gang enhancements. You know, I'm just saying, uh, we're talking about a lot of time. We ain't talking about little numbers. We're talking about the big numbers. Do your work on them big numbers. So while you're in prison, you know, this channel is going to be fucking double dog. Nothing. It's going to be fucking, it's going to be like, like just floating in space like this dumbass channel with this fucking bullshit ass videos for people to like catch the lie and they 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 get all the lies from your lying ass page they start regurgitating it as if it's true and then people gotta correct them but no one has corrected your captain clown ass they just allow you to run your dick suckers and then take no responsibility and absolve yourself and reassure yourself and validate yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> you are a junkie, a flunky, and a groupie. Shut your bitch ass up. Southside 30. Swoop did it. Yeah, tell him what else Swoop did to you. We about to get into that fool right now. You Compton clown. I'm not accepting no prep school bell at bread sellout sellout into my fraternity all right so this concludes the character evaluation of treshawn wiggins now we're going to go over this video um the video that Sean wiggins actually made about me right the junkie slander video we're gonna go over the junkie slander video 
And I'm just going to let y'all hear it for yourselves, right? Because unlike him, I actually do reactions. This is a reaction channel. So I'm actually going to let his video play and then we'll react to it. I will title it like Swoop Reacts to S. Wiggins or some shit like that. Or Debunks S. Wiggins or some shit like that. Because I already did expose the S. S. Wiggins. Da -da -da. I already exposed him. So we need to like debunk him or... Um, What's, what's what's the word in his career or some shit like that or cancel him you know like s wiggins canceled you know something like that so you know the tv shit because he's just like dream foreign dream foreign tv s wiggins tv milk tv do y'all see the pattern here you know <laughs> do, do y'all homework on niggas with tv in their name I don't, i'm just like television nah, i'm good I don't subscribe to nobody with fucking TV in their name. Fuck, fuck that. I be rotting my damn brain cells, which is bullshit. You know, I come to YouTube to escape TV. The fuck, these niggas trying to be uh, the TV so bad. No, no, no. You would never. You see, look, let's hear. The only TV y'all will ever be on is you know on somebody's YouTube screen, being you know mirrored to their TV. Which anything could be mirrored to your fucking TV. <laughs> Look here. You'll never be on a network or on a successful YouTube page. Your YouTube page is just a gossip page. It's there for gossip. <laughs> it's there for exploitation. It's there for shock value. But it's not there for credibility. It's not there for validity. <laughs> All right. Now let's go into these, uh, these uh, comments because... There's um, a handful of comments, you know, S. Wiggins stands that I want to directly, you know, um, respond to, <laughs> you know, because your, your claims are just so wild. Now, we're talking about the comments that are strictly going to be in the uh, S. Wiggins Exposed video, which was the last video I did addressing him, right? The video where he's uh, really upset because I know someone who knows him. Well, I don't know that person, but... Someone contacted me who knows him, who exposed him, you know, on my channel. And he doesn't want to give that, he don't want to give that video no light. So I had to, you know, redo the video and, you know, reserve it to you, you know, wigging clown stands and groupies. <laughs> um, spoon feed this shit to y'all one more time. <laughs> Before we get into anything this uh, motherfucker said about me, we need to figure out if uh, this is even anybody which we already figured out that that's not true this dude's a virtual nobody he's a junkie he's a stan which is stupid thirsty ass nobody <laughs> all right all right all right all right all jokes aside y'all all jokes aside all right so we got a comment here you know s wiggins burner account you know uh, somebody who's speaking for s wiggins again you know that's common in his comment section, whenever I make a comment about him, right, obviously, you know, uh, burner accounts, you know, start answering questions for Wiggins instead of Wiggins answering the questions himself. And I'm like, well, well, at least on his main page, I say he's not answering the questions. He answering the questions on burner accounts, things that he's accusing me of doing, which he has no fucking proof of. But I have plenty of proof of, you know, these Stan fan burner accounts. Are literally answering for him <laughs> so listen um this stan fan burner account wrote that's not wiggins with laughing faces like that means something um well stan fan burner account uh prove it prove that this is not as wiggins if you have proof then provide it if you don't shut up it's like how you know how are you supposed to know you know this dude you know stan what you know stan wiggins personally and prove it, <laughs> you know, because this person in the email proved it. <laughs> you know, you ain't proved shit. You just in my comment section. See, that's the that's the wild shit. Is that the fans or stands or groupies or whatever they think they could prove something in the comment section? You ain't can't prove dick in the comment section. <laughs> if you want to make a video, go on ahead, but please come with some evidence, shred of dignity and decency. You know, you are in the public, you know. <laughs> you, you are being recorded. You're in the public. So you want to get out here, run your mouth, go ahead and do that. 
you know, let's just see, you know. Everybody wants some clout. Everybody want to have an opinion. Everybody, uh, and then y'all go as far as talking for the motherfucking nigga. Damn, this, this is a grown-ass man. Y'all know this ain't no child. This grown-ass man. This nigga stand up when he piss, right? <laughs> this nigga go to work. <laughs> they got kids. Don't he got nine kids? Ah, oh, nigga got nine kids, but y'all niggas speaking for him. That's wild. <laughs> Dude. Do your homework on y'all speaking from grown ass men. That's wild. I don't speak for nobody. I ain't gonna try to speak for nobody. Uh, you know, let blood say whatever he gonna say because he's grown ass man. So, what the fuck about doing speaking for another nigga? I can't speak for another nigga. I can't speak for another state, city, hood. What the fuck they rather be called? I might know what some of them are and what some of them like to be called. I might be somewhat familiar, but I'm not a fucking expert. <laughs> on some shit that I'm not, you know, um, immersed with or a part of. Do y'all, y'all see what I'm saying? So you got all these fucking experts who are experts of shit, like um, this bullshit-ass channel. <laughs> Trey Sean Wick is bullshit-ass channel. <laughs> Dude's an expert on absolute fucking nothing. But he's running around, you know, acting like it. You know, speaking for all these other hoods, they... <laughs> He has no fucking clue about, you know, just gossiping. He's gossip channel. So uh, we, we got that out the way, right? So wherever the fuck you are, burner account, um, <laughs> opinion rejected. <laughs> I, I gave you an email to prove it. You never did. So, you know, these pictures are S. Wiggins. And tell S. Wiggins, you know, provides proof that it's not. You know, we got to. You know, be fair here, you know, this person in the, despite the pictures, right, pictures or not, this person knows intimate details of S. Wiggins' life. S. Wiggins is very upset about this video, and that's why he's not in the comment section. That's why I gotta read y'all damn comment section. <laughs> I gotta read y'all comments in the comment section because S. Wiggins refuses to acknowledge this video, which is hilarious. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here are Vienna Sausage Rue, you know, the white boy, the wigger, who thinks he's a nigga from Skyline. You know, he's a brep. He's a Skyline brep. He's not a Skyline Pyro. He's not a Skyline Pyro blood. He's a Skyline brep. All right, and all he does is hang out with Crips. You know, he gets upset at Bloods because, you know, you know uh, the Skylines have a history of the Bloods, you know, whooping their ass. <laughs> You know, even though that they're, <laughs> we'll get into that in another video, you know, because we'll somebody actually have to talk about Skyline, because listen here, um, y'all ass don't speak for Skyline, <laughs> and um, this goofy don't speak for Skyline either, apparently, you know, he hasn't talked nothing about Skyline, he had you in a video, he didn't ask you about your fucking hood. He didn't talk to you about your homies. He didn't put you on the screen. He didn't put your name in a title. You know, you're just a goofy ass wigger who think he that nigga, but you're, you're not. Say it with me, you're not Vienna Sausage Roo. So Vienna Sausage Roo is in this comment. For whatever reason, he's not talking about nothing in the video, of course. Vienna Sausage Roo uh, says, and we can't take you serious. You fed as fuck. Fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm fed as fuck. Okay, prove it. Uh, you realize you're doing police shit right now, or right? Or is that right? Oh, police shit, right? No. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm doing police shit how? Cause I'm exposing your girlfriend. <laughs> that's police shit. Cause I expose your bitch, and I'm exposing you, and that's police shit. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Um, that's how you rule with an iron fist. The fuck are you talking about? You rat on your all ops, huh? You rat on your all ops. It's an idiot. Can't can't ever get through a thought. You rat on. I think you're trying to say you rat on all your ops. And how am I ratting on this nigga? He coming to you, telling on me, to you. <laughs> you know, he's telling on me to you. You butt hurt. You upset. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck am I telling on um, him when he telling on me to you? <laughs> this is the only way you even know about me. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know you, nigga. We don't know. I don't know you from the streets. I'm not in San Diego. Nobody's talking. To you. you know, one's even talking about San Diego in the least. 
<laughs> and if we were, we wouldn't be talking about you or your goofy ass hook ass set. So let, let's keep on going. Uh, leave in a box, boy. Hold on, what? Uh huh. Leave in a box. You mean jail? Oh, oh yeah. Cause I I told you you bring your ass up here. You gonna leave in a box, which is true. Um, it says here it's totally different time of day. A hey, but pull up, pull up. Well, what the fuck are you talking about? Pull up my rap sheet, rap boy. How about no? I don't give a fuck about your rap sheet. No one does. Your raps are terrible. Have you ever heard you rap? Oh, my God. Double fucking garbage. Nobody's checking for you. Not one Skyline has ever heard that shit that you rapping and capping on your little YouTube channel. You can't even get more than 10 plays. You, you, you stuck at seven subscribers. I guarantee you right now, if I press your page, it's going to only have seven subscribers. What the fuck? <laughs> Ah, this dude got like uh, fucking 20 videos and only 10 subscribers. Not even 10 subscribers, 7 subscribers. Can't even get more than 10 views. It's hilarious. <laughs> this fool putting out videos hard at work. <laughs> like somebody watching that shit. Nobody's watching that shit. Uh, <laughs> he put um, A day, A, but I can't even read this. You can't, we can't even get through this. You so stupid. Uh, let's see. Promise if you want to find, uh, I don't want to find nothing. I don't want to find nothing. If So if I find your rap sheet, I'm never supposed to speak on you again. And no, no, no. If I found your rap sheet, we will speak exactly on you. We'll, we'll find out that you're a snitch and a bitch and a goofy. If I look through your rap sheet, I already know what I'm going to find. <laughs> I already know exactly what I'm going to find. I don't, I don't have to look at it. And I already know it's there. <laughs> All right, we ain't gonna read the rest of your comment because it's just like uh, stupid ass comment. So Venus Sasha's rule is uh, upset, y'all. This is backstabbing ass Pyro. Uh, Want to be ass Pyro? He'll never be a Pyro. He'll never be a Compton Pyro. So <laughs> fake ass Pyro and your fake ass bullshit Pyro set. Skyline should be ashamed of you. And um, I'm pretty sure when they see you, they're gonna like do something to you, like <laughs> a DP. You know, you, oh, you know, you committed treason, you know, so, you know, you got to deal with that. But, I mean, maybe not. I, I hear Skyline is a bunch of weak ass, pathetic ass, lames who don't do a goddamn thing to nobody who deserves it. <laughs> do your homework on, um, on all that. Yeah, all right, next comment. All right, so we got another faceless um, commenter. This dude is usually on Wiggins page so no 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 this dude's on my page I don't know who he follows on who he subscribes to I don't know he writes this um so now he's speaking for S Wiggins as, as well so here goes another person who's speaking for X was uh, uh, who's speaking for Trace Hong so this dude wrote he's from Trag New or Twilight I think that he him he from CC uh, we don't know that. And well, actually, I know that for a fact that he's not from CC. He's from the DR. Do your homework on the DC. I mean, <laughs> I said DC. CC versus the DR. It's two different places. He's not from CC. He's not from uh, CA. <laughs> All right. He's not from LA. He's not from none of that shit. <laughs> Get that to y'all fucking heads. He's not from nowhere. He a fucking Jimmy Neutron who is uh, online looking for his next fix. Okay, that's a, that's about it. <laughs> Do your homework on him online, cosplaying to get a hit on his next fix. All right, do your homework. So this is stuff that we already verified. <laughs> so what else is there to debate? Uh, I ain't debating, we, we're not debating. This is not a debate. Like I said, this is a correction video. Um, this is part one, you know, you will probably get another part we're going to go over that entire video and just debunk some more shit and just have fun with it. Laugh at him, you know, while I still got, uh, you know, his um, his video halfway done as far as like the edits and stuff. So I'll check out in the next video. We'll wrap it up right now because I don't want to go over an hour. We're just right there at this at the button right here. So I'll see you on the next uh, video, which will be part two. So dog, I'm out.